All right, Jason. Another big weekend. What else is in store in regards to official visits, unofficial, everything that you can pull together for us regarding what's going to happen here over the rest of the month? Clemson just hosted um, 31 guys on official visits over the weekend. And, and, you know, this is the first weekend in June that, that players can take, an, take official visits this summer. So a lot of those guys that visited this weekend are still going to take more visits, kind of like I was talking about with Ian Reed. I thought he might take one or two more. But um, I know a lot of people – Some the conventional wisdom is you always like to get the last one, but Clemson's getting the first one with a lot of these guys. So I think the goal was to set the bar extremely high with, with a lot of these priority guys and – give these other schools that these players are visiting something to live up to. And I, and I think they pulled it off. Um, I've talked to five or six of the guys that were on campus over the weekend. Um, all of them high praise for how the weekend went. Started out with a lake day on Friday afternoon. They spent the day on the lake. I, I know one of them told me he, he went, got to go kayaking with his mom. They did a scavenger hunt Saturday. He had dinner at Dabo Sweeney's house Saturday night. I don't know if you've seen the viral clip on Twitter that showed Dabo Sweeney hitting the fadeaway jumper over one of the <laughs> no. 2023 commits. I, I think it was Brandon Strozier that he hit that shot over. Um, 2023 safety, Robert Billings, Rob Billings shot that and put it on Twitter, but little funny clip if you get a chance to see it. Then Sunday concluded with the tra traditional photo shoot. Like I said, everybody I talked to that was there, they, they just thoroughly enjoyed it. it. Sounds like Clemson really, again, set the bar high. And we've already seen two commitments come out of the weekend, even though Terrell was not on campus this weekend. He was last week. Reed was there over the weekend. And I think we're going to see a few more pieces fall into place over the next few weeks. Um, I think I touched on Zachariah Owens. I really like where Clemson stands with him. I really like where Clemson stands with defensive lineman A.J. Hoffler. Um, I know he was a big, considered a big Ohio State lean at one time. And I, I would be surprised if he's in not in Clemson's 2023 recruiting, recruiting class when it's all said and done. Might not announce till August. The couple of times I've talked to him, he, he talks about announcing maybe on his birthday. I think that's August the 9th. But, again, there, there's just several guys I think Clemson hit it out of the park with this weekend, defensive tackle. I'm not sure if I'm saying his name right. I apologize if I'm not. Stephalon Green, he picked up an offer over the weekend, if I'm not mistaken. He was the only guy, I think, there that didn't have an offer, and I think he picked up one while he was there. But I think Clemson's in good shape with him. Like I said, I think we're going to start seeing some pieces start falling into place. Clemson's got six verbal commitments now. I think they went into last summer or went into last June with four, and we start started to see things take off in June, starting to see a repeat performance of that. As for what's coming up, there's some more Dabo Sweeney High School camps coming up this weekend. Not sure who all is going to be there just yet. Um, hopefully have a, maybe have a better idea later in the week. I haven't seen a lot of names bantered about just yet. I, I have to see some of those names before I decide whether I'm going to go back up there. So we'll see how it plays out. I'll have to check out the, the Dabo fadeaway because it, it's kind of funny when you see these coaches and you just think, um, I guess it's in the back of our minds, you know, they put on some weight. They don't look too athletic. We forget that they actually played themselves. And, uh, you know, we see them throw some passes on the, you know, every so often you'll see a coach throwing the ball on the sideline a little bit or shooting some hoops. And you you, you uh, remember, okay. Yeah, these guys actually were athletes themselves. They're they're not too bad. They 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 can handle a football or a basketball. Yeah, I've I've seen Dabo toss the ball a few times. You know, like at a practice or during a camp. He 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 can he can sling it a little bit. He can spin it. Yeah, yeah, it's good <laughs> stuff.